Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to Wednesday Fitness. Welcome, everybody. Gonna give everyone a minute to get joining in. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's had a good week. Yeah, hopefully our games went well. Excited for the games this weekend. Right, this fitness session is gonna try and get us ready for those games, those sessions that we have to finish out for the rest of the week. I'm gonna wait about another minute for other people to join. Right, for those of you that were not here last week, you're not gonna need anything. All you need is just a good amount of space for your body. If you're on a hardwood floor, I'd probably recommend having a shirt, a hoodie, so that you can lay on, put your knee on, because you're going to be doing some things for the knees, right? Uh, biggest thing for you guys, right? We're building off of what we did last week, so not too many changes, right? I want us being efficient, doing all the simple things savagely well, so that when we go on to the more harder, more challenging things, we're able to do those fundamentals easy, and you guys can understand my cues, right? Looks like we have just about everyone on, right? Big help for me is if you guys can have your uh, cameras on just so I can see. If you're not comfortable with that, that's fine, right? But if your camera's on, it's easier for me to be able to see what you guys are doing well, what you aren't doing well, so I can fix your cues, right? So it's about that time, right? As you can tell, I'm losing my voice. I can do the best I can to talk, right? A lot of coaching, a lot of yelling lately. So what I want you to do is we're going to start flat on our backs, right? We're going to start with our hamstring kicks. So I want you to think our right heel is driving into the ground. Toe is pulled to the face. From there, that foot doesn't move. My back is flat. My leg is going to be straight up into the air so I can flex and squeeze my cut, right? I don't want to be bent. I don't want to feel that jiggle. My leg is straight. And all I'm going to do is keep my right leg in the ground. My left leg is going to bend and rise 10 times, right? Pull the toe to the face. Heel drives to the sky. Feel a stretch in the hamstring, maybe a little bit in the calf. We're going 10 times on the left. After those 10, we're going to go 10 times on the right. Remember, it's important that we stretch before every session, right? Get the muscles loose and limber, get them firing, get the tendons and ligaments ready, because we're going to do a lot of explosive action. We need the muscle and body ready, right? Once you've done that left side, switch over to the right side. Left heel is driving to the ground. Leg is straight. I don't care if it's even at 45 degrees here. But we want to maximize that strength and don't let that knee bend, right? Heel to the butt, let me raise 10 times. All right, go 10 more seconds. Let anyone finish up. Good, four, three, two, one, good, relax. All right, we're gonna go up to our knees. So I want us to think, I want my knees, I have my toes pushing into the ground so I can activate my glutes. My hips are on top, I'm so underneath my shoulders. My hips are on top of my knees from here. My hands are gonna fall underneath my shoulder blades. My back is gonna be flat. I'm going to put my right foot off to the side so my leg can be straight. And I want my toe in line with my knee. It's going to give me the full flexion, full range of motion right from here. All I'm going to do is drive my hips back so my butt touches my heel. I'm going to drive back forward. I want to feel a stretch on the inside of my thigh or my abductor muscle. So you know it's the groin. We're going to do 10 rocks here, nice and slow. Keep that foot flat into the ground, right? Not out to the sky, but in the ground. 10 on each side. Gonna turn the other way so you guys can see how it looks. Right, my hands are underneath my shoulders. I'm gonna drive my hips back, and I'm gonna rock back forward. I'm gonna have you guys give me ten on each side right here. So take about another thirty seconds. It's good, right? Just big things. That leg is straight. My foot is flat into the ground. Those are the two biggest things. Make sure that back toe is into the ground. Toes pointed forward. All right, ten seconds left. I mean, have you guys stay in that six point position. Right, three, two, one, go to relax. All right, next thing we do is what I call T spine rotation. So I'm back in a six point stance. My toes are into the ground. My knees are underneath my hips. My hands are underneath my shoulder blades. From there, I'm gonna have my hand come to the back of my neck. My elbow is out in line of my hand. I'm gonna let my elbow fall to the forearm. Eyes gonna follow the hand up and up. I'm going to go 10 of these on each side. Right? Notice I'm going nice and slow, not any quick movements. My hand stays flat on the back of my neck. My elbow is driving out nice and long. Right? That's seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Go, we can switch to the other side. Right hand on the back of the neck, make sure that back is flat. Elbow to the forearm, eyes fall on the elbow. Up. Now, give me 10 reps on this side. 
Good, remember, nice and slow. Eyes follow the elbow, boys and girls. It's nice and good, very good, very good. All right, make sure we aren't smacking out, right? Let that elbow rise up nice and easy. Good. And relax, good. Last thing we're gonna do for our activation. We got a world span stretch, so we're gonna push up position. Legs are straight, and left foot's gonna come outside my left hand. All right, big things, that back leg is straight. From here, keep my back leg straight. Elbows gonna drop to my big toe. Eyes fall, the elbow up and out. Grab my toe, rock back for a little hamstring stretch. I'm gonna go back into a push up position. I'm gonna do the other side as well. Eyes fall, the hand up and out. Grab the toe and rock back. We're gonna go four on each side, right? We've done one rep. Got us three more on each side. All right, big thing, boys and girls, that back leg, keep it straight. That's gonna give us more flexion through the hip. Also, activate the hamstring on each side. All right, let's finish out nice and strong. Let's see how we look. Nice and good. Yeah, that mobility's gotten better from last week. Much better. Looks really good. Make sure we're alternating sides, right? Not just doing five in a row. Right in, eyes out. And we rock back at that push up, right? About 15 seconds to finish these out. Go ahead, four, three, two, one. Good, and relax. Good, next thing we're gonna do, we got a dead box. All right, we got to work on our core activation. It's a simple way, so it's gonna teach us to keep the back flat as well as stabilize the core and enable the core. So start in a glute bridge position like we learned last week. My feet are close to my butt. My lower back is flat into the ground. My shoulder blades are into the ground. From there, my hips come up. My knees are right above my hips, creating a 90 degree angle with my ankles. And my hands come straight above my body, right? What we're gonna do first, my right arm is gonna come out nice and long. My left leg is gonna reach out nice and long. My right leg will stay at 90 degrees. And we're going to squeeze and hold there for 15 seconds. When I say switch, we're going to come back into that neutral position and switch to the other side. Ready? We go right arm out, left leg out. Three, two, one, and go. Right, then drive that lower back into the ground. Think nice and long with the arm and leg. Neither one to touch the ground. Right, already we should feel that hip of the leg that's stretched out, start to fire. Maybe our core is shaking a little bit. Go ahead, switch. So we're going to the other side now. Left leg out, or sorry, excuse me, right leg out, left arm out. Thinking nice and long, lower back into the ground. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one, and switch. We do it again on the original side. Right arm out, left leg out, squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold, back into the ground, five seconds. Make sure nothing is touching the ground. Good, and switch, last one. Good, very good. Remember that long leg doesn't touch the ground. My arm doesn't touch the ground. Good, three, two, one, and relax. Good, last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do a dual leg loop branch. So I'm working both legs at the same time. I want your feet just outside your hips, but close to your butt. So my knees are bent. My toes are not touching the ground, but my heels are. I'm thinking my toes are falling into my shin. From here, I'm gonna drive my hips up. Squeeze my glutes to the top, and then get slowly lower them back to the ground, and then rise up again. Everything is nice and slow. It's a two second pause at the top, and we're gonna go 10 reps here. Think slow rise, slow fall, two second hold at the top. One, two, and back down, up. One, two, and back down. All right, so five seconds, finish them out, and then we're gonna go back to the six point stance. The hips go up in line with the knees. Good. Good, Ella, good. Good, four, three, two, one, good, and relax, good. Last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do some hip cars, right? So work on our hip mobility. We know soccer players, hips are with everything. So we're gonna be in our six point stance, right? My hands are underneath my shoulders. My knees are underneath my hips and my toes are into the ground. From here, my right leg is gonna be out straight. I'm gonna keep my back flat. I'm gonna go up and down 10 times. 
my poop is two inches off the ground, and my heel is not rising above my butt. You're gonna go 10 lifts here, and then bring it back central. We're gonna go left leg out, 10 lifts, nice and slow. And then we're gonna introduce a new movement with those. Being nice and long with that leg, reaching back. My back doesn't rotate, my back is flat. Looks very good. Big toe pointed to the ground. 10 on one side, 10 on the other, and then we'll switch. It's good. Keep it going, keep it going. Good, four, three, Two, one, good, relax. All right, here's a new movement I was mentioning. So last week we were here, we had the leg over and then we came over top. Instead, we're gonna make a little more mobility work. So we're gonna go out nice and long with the leg. We're gonna go up, out, and around. So think like a fire hydrant, right? Sometimes we call it a walking dog. My leg is straight, toes into the ground. We're gonna lift it up two inches so my heels and lower my butt. My knee is gonna come out and around, making a half circle. Come back and touch the ground. We're gonna go five on each side. Think nice and slow when I come out. My head and chest don't rock out. Everything is facing to the ground except for the knee, right? Five, big semicircles here. Nice and slow, keep that toe flexed towards the shin. And then once you come to the slide, we're gonna go five on the other side. That's one, two, three, four, five, Good, keep going, give you a few more seconds to finish out. We're gonna do everything up on our feet. All right, four, three, two, one, good, and relax. Everyone's up on our feet now. Hopefully you got the blood flowing, right? A little bit of heavy breathing, right? Right now, just gonna do our quad stretch with the reach. Think out nice and tall. My knee is pointed towards the ground. We're gonna draw my toe up to the sky and take a couple steps in between, right? Here you go, 15 seconds right here. Being nice and tall as we drive. Right, being head to the sky, head through your ceiling. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Good, relax. Now I got a single leg work, some single leg RDLs. So I want you to think, my big toe, my pinky toe, my outside of my heel, the inside of my heel are touching the ground. We're gonna have a slight bend of my knee, so my knee is just over my big toe. From there, my right leg is gonna think nice and long. I'm gonna hinge my hips back to the wall, not squat. I'm gonna think hinge, nice and long, arms and legs, and I'm gonna come right back up. So my shoulders, hips, and feet are stacked. You're gonna go 10 on each side, nice and slow. I don't wanna see any snap actions, right? Nice, slow, and controlled, right? In fact, in this motion, the slower, the better. Think nice and long as we reach. 10 on each side. Remember to bend that knee. Have a brace. Right back is flat. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Good. As we do it, take a look. We can look down. Make sure our knee isn't bending inside. Good. Switch on over to the other leg. Give you another 15 seconds to get five to 10 reps right here. Right, think as we bend over, right, can you take a look at me? We don't want to collapse our chest, it's going to overactivate. We want to think big chest, my shoulder blades are back. So my chest is looking forward as I bend down. My hips hinge, my chest stays up. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, go and relax. Right, last two things we're going to do for our activation. We got our reverse lunges, so I want you to think up nice and tall. Chest is big, shoulder blades are back. I'm just gonna draw my leg behind, being nice and long. Reach my arms up, my knee doesn't touch the ground. I'm gonna stand straight up. I'm gonna switch sides. So it's what we call an open chain movement because my leg is not stable in the ground. I drop it back, being nice and long, feel the stretch to the front of the hip, and I'm gonna drive up. I want you guys to give me five on each side right here. Then as we push up, we're driving through that back toe. My front heel staying in the ground, so as I stand up, I'm stable. Good, about 10 seconds, finish your milk. Then we'll do some rapid response work. Get that blood flow going, get the central nervous system active, and then we'll get right into our strength work. 
Really good. Much better from the last week. You guys look a lot more stable. Good. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. Last week we did some rapper spots, right? We're doing what we did last week. We got a pogo step. So we're gonna be up tall on my toes. When I say drop, we're gonna drop down into that squat position. When I say go, those feet are gonna leave the ground, popping through my toes, nice and light on my feet. Ready? We're up tall on our toes. Ready? And we drop, and we go. Nice and light pogos on the feet. Four, three, two, one. Good, and relax. See if you got two more. Up tall. Jump. And we go. Pogo. Nice and light on the feet. All right, get those both feet off the ground at the same time. Three, two, one. Good, relax. Last one. Ready? Up tall. Jump. And go. Pogo, pogo. Nice and light on the feet. Pop, 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 pop. Three, two, one. Good, and relax. Take 30 seconds. Grab a sip of water. Good work. Hopefully the heart rate is up. We're breathing a little bit, right? Hopefully not as hard as I am, right? I love the hard work from y'all. It's been a hard start to the season, coming back from everything. Proud of y'all for all the work you've been doing. So while you guys get your water, don't worry about starting yet. Last week we had our squats, our floor angels, and our stretch. We're going to be doing the same thing again, the same tempo, and the same amount of steps and reps, okay? For those of you that were here last week, when we set up in the squat, my feet, are outside my hips, so in line with my shoulders. I'm gonna turn my toes out to a 45 degree angle. What this does, it allows a femur, right, that big bone in the front of the hip, that's gonna allow me to bend and get a little bit more range of motion, right? Now, to make sure we keep our posture, we're gonna keep our hands behind our head, we're gonna squeeze our elbows back into our back, so my shoulder blades are touching each other, or think I have a tennis ball right here, we don't wanna let that tennis ball drop. And now here's how the sets will work. When I say go, it's gonna be five, four, three, two, one. As we lower down, one second hold on the bottom, and then we're gonna drive up. We're gonna do that 10 times before we go into our next set. Right, are we ready? Everyone's in our squat position, ready? Three, two, one, and five, four, three, two, one. Drive up, one, Two, three, four, five. Drive up. One, two, three, four, five. Drive up. That's three, five, four, three, two, one. Drive up. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive up. As you go down, five. Think about your heels touching the ground as well as your toes. One. Drive up. Five. Four, three, two, one. Good. Last three. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive up. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. And relax. Now we're going to drop onto our backs. We're going to do some reverse pulls. Help those shoulder blades, help our posture a little bit. You're going to be in that starting loop bridge position. My lower back is into the ground. My heels are touching the ground close to the butt. My arms are out straight. And all I'm going to think, pull the hands against the ground so my hands don't lift. So I inline my shoulders and I come back out. So as I pull in, I'm creating a 90 degree angle between my elbows, hands, and shoulders. And I come back out, right? As you get to our fourth rep, we should feel our lower back start to feel some relief. Our upper back is working. And maybe our chest feels a little bit of relief as well. That was rep number five for me. We have 20 reps here, right? With this stretch, with this strength, it cannot hurt to do more. So if you've done 20, do 25. So we'll give you about 10 more seconds to finish these out. Think that back is into the ground, shoulder blades touching, elbows touching, hands touching. Think nice and long, nice and big. Go three, two, one, go ahead and relax. We're up in a high feeling position here, boys and girls, right? Hopefully we got that sweat up and going. What I want you to think, I started in that six point stance. I have my hips right underneath my shoulders so I have a straight line. My knees underneath my hip. My left leg is slower, right? Set up so you're in a comfortable position. Your knee is on top of your ankle. 
and I want you to drive forward, keeping the heel into the ground, my toe into the ground, and my knee is going to come past my toe. I'm going to rock backwards. So drive forward. Don't let our chest collapse. Think nice and big up tall. And we're going to come back in. You're going to go three reps here. That was my third. After that, we're going to go to a 45 degree angle. Out to the side. I'm rocking my knee towards that big toe. My chest is going to fall over. I'm not going to collapse. We're going to go three reps here. And last one we're going to do is out to a 90 degree angle. So rocking towards that toe. Maybe you feel a stretch on a little bit of the inside of your tight there, as well as a stretch of the front of the hip. And then we're going to switch to the other leg. Good. So now my right leg is in front. Knee is on top of the ankle. I'm nice and strong. Squeeze on my glute. I'm going to keep my big chest and rock forward and back. Three times here. After this three, switch to a 45. Then we switch to a 90 degree. I love it. We've got the Salvador boys working together, making the best of their space. No excuses. I love it. All right, we'll give you about 10 more seconds to finish our stretches, and we're going right back into our squats. All right, hopefully, we feel a little bit better, a little bit stronger. The tension holds on as much on us because now we've gained a little bit more strength. And we gain a little bit more availability so that as we go through, we don't feel like we're straining any muscles. All right, ready? And let's back up on their feet again. Right, we're going into our second set. Ready? Feet outside the shoulders in a good squat position. Ready? Three, two, one. And we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive up. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive up, five, four, three, two, one. Drive up, that's three, four, three, two, one. Drive up, five, four, three, two, one. Drive up, halfway, five, four, three, two, one. Drive up, five, four, three, two, one. One, drive up, five, four, three, two, one, drive up, last two, five, four, three, two, one, drive up, last one, five, four, three, two, one, good, and relax, everyone's on the ground, we got our floor angels, our right, back is flat on the ground, lower back, upper back touching, arms start straight, and we bring them back in. It's good. Good. Think arms straight as we come in. Don't let our elbows and hands come off the ground. So think it nice and long. Elbows in, back out. Don't think as fast as you can. Slow with the better. You can even think of three counts. So as they come down, it's three, two, one. Slowly back out. Three, two, one, back out. Give about another 15 seconds. Finishes off. And we're going into our stretch. Right? Really important that we do all the simple things right here. All these things that I'm giving you, besides the squats, the glute raises, the floor angels, and push ups, are all things that you guys can do every single day. The world's greatest, my T-spine, the groin rockers, the hamstring kicks, all these things you guys should be doing in your off time, especially before and after practice. All right, everyone should be up on their half kneeling. We've got a three-way hip again. Driving that knee over that toe, keep that heel and toe on the ground. I'm going to drive back. Think big chest, right? That tennis ball stays attached to the back, all right? A lot of us got to work on our posture, especially with our online school and social distance learning. We sit on our computers for eight hours a day. We tend to hunch over. These floor angels and posture work will help keep that chest nice and big. Keep a lot of the stress and pain from our lumbar area. Right? Posture becomes so important as we get older. Might as well learn how to do it now. Good. Should be on the last set of our three-way hip. Hopefully moving over to the other leg. Go about another 30 seconds here to finish this out. 
We're driving that knee over that ankle, past that toe. Once we're done there, we go to that 45. Right, remember why we do these stretches? It helps us as we go on for our strength workouts. If we're not so tight in our, our quads or our hips, feel free to go into our groin rocker stretches. We can do our 90-90 hip stretches that we've done before, right? There's no thing that's one stretch that I'm gonna tell you to do or I'm gonna give you advice. Remember, it's your body, listen to your body. Whatever you need, you need to do. All right, good. Need five more seconds, get up on your feet. We have one more set, and we're gonna take a little bit of a break, get some water. Right, last set, last thing we do, we always finish strong. Ready? Three, two, one, and we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and drive up. Five, four, three, two, one, drive up. Five, four, three, two, one, drive up. Five, four, three, two, one, drive up. That's four, five, four, three, two, one, drive up halfway. Five, four, three, two, one, drive up. Five, four, three, two, one, drive up, last three. Five, four, three, two, one, drive up, last two. Five, four, three, two, one, drive up. One, two, three, four, five, drive up. Good, well done, boys and girls. We're back on our backs, we got our four angels again. We get nice and long, hands on the ground, back is flat in both parts, elbows and hands drag against the ground, and we reach up nice and long. Think nice and slow, it's a good stretch as well as a strength. We can work on our breathing as well, so as I bring my elbows in and down, breathe in. As I reach out, we drive out, breathe out. Help alleviate some of that back pain, I'm sure some of us have experienced. We're at 20 reps here. Give you another 15 seconds and we're going to go to our stretch. All right, good. As we finish up there, we're going to go to our three way hip. Right back in that half meal, boys and girls. Knee over the ankle, over the toe, big chest, don't let it collapse. Think nice and big, and we draw it back. This time we go five reps on each side. Think it nice and long, big chest, squeezing that glute of the leg that's down. All right, big, good stretch. All right, for those of us that come off as a sub, even at halftime while coach is talking, it's a great stretch to do, just to make sure the muscles stay in their normal tank relationship. Right? We don't want to tighten up as we come off the field. Coaches need us. Sometimes we just need a quick water break. Right? A good stretch on the sideline can help us so we don't stiffen up. So when we come back on the field, we can still maintain our maximum performance. All right, good. About 10 seconds on your left side. I'm going to switch on over. All right, we're doing great. We're burning through this today. We had to think of some extra stuff for us to do for next week because you guys are doing this so well. My cues don't have to be so good. That's why I like to see. All right, should be on that next hip. Should be at that 45 degree angle now. Remember, driving towards that toe, right? Not driving forwards. We always want to keep that knee stacked at the ankle, always in the same line. Keep us away from some hip injuries. Now about 10 more seconds. Get some water. And as we get water, we're going to explain what we do next. All right, hopefully you guys feel good. Got that blood flow going. Some of us didn't get to train yesterday or today. So hopefully we get this work in and make up for that missed time. All right, so you guys should be on your break by now. While you guys get some water, please feel free to look at me. This is the last set of strength work that we're going to do. So we did our glute bridges at the beginning, where our heels are in the ground, toes are up. We drive up, pause and hold, and back down. This time, it's just single leg. 
It's going to be 10 on each side. That toe is going to be off the ground. And with just one leg, working on that hip strength and glute strength, we're going to drive up, pause, and lower back down. Right? Big thing here. When we drive, this is not enough. We got to get our hips all the way up, making sure that as we drive up, my knee doesn't turn in. I keep it out nice and long, nice and straight. Right? 10 more seconds, all the sore on our backs, we're going to work together. Right? Then drive through the heels, toes hold into the shin, my knee doesn't turn in. All right, are we ready? Everyone's on our backs. I don't care which foot you start on. Ready? And we're up, two second hold, and back down. Drive up, and lower back down. Drive up, squeeze and lower. 10 on the left, and then 10 on the right side. Remember, think big and tall, right? Hips extend. This will also help us with our jumping, right? Fighting players off the ball, even with our ceiling stability when we plant the shoot, right? Glute strength is a tremendously important. As you get older, as you get into the higher levels, right? That single leg stability is incredibly crucial. All right, another 15 seconds, finish it up. See some of y'all still working. Good. Number five, four, three, two, one. Go and relax. Next thing we got, we got our push ups. We're going to do the same thing that we did with the squat. So we're doing our eccentric push ups, which means that as I lower my chest to the ground, I'm going to go down slow for a five second count. Remember, for my push ups, I want to think elbows scrape my body. So if you're looking at me, as I come down, my elbows don't come out. They stay tight to my body, so I can keep a big chest, my shoulder blades stay squeezed. I'm gonna lower down and drive back up. If that's too hard for you, first, don't drop to your knees, do the lowering phase, then let yourself get up by pushing up through the knees like a steel. Or if it is too hard, drop to our knees and work on our form as we go down, right? So in about five seconds, we're gonna get done. It's a five second count on the way down. We're gonna do five reps, ready? Three, two, one, and we lower. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive up. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive up. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive up. Last two. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive up. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, and relax. Go back into our 90-90 stretch. Those of you that were here last week or may have forgotten, my right knee is in line with my right hip, and my knee is in line with my ankle, creating a 90 degree angle. My back leg is bent in the same shape. Land my toe, my heel, my knee, and my ankle on the same line. I'm gonna rock over my knee, give myself a good deep glute stretch, and it's going to come behind the body, rock my knees so straight up, and they're going to fall to the other side. They shed finish in the same position, just opposite side. We're going to go five hip switches on each side. As we rock, make sure you drop that chest over that knee, give that extra stretch and that glute. Rock it back and forth, five each way. All right, as you guys do this, please look at me. That's all the struggle with it. Right, I want us to think as we go down, the elbows. Come into the body here. Because as I come out wide, my shoulders will come up and into my neck, into my head, and we'll find a lot of shoulder, some upper trap pain. That's something I want to try and avoid. So by keeping the elbows tight into the body as I go down, allows all my big muscles, my big fibers to be contracted and step. So I limit my risk of injury. All right, we're going to go two more sets here. And we got our core set. So everyone's back on their back. Going into our single leg glute bridge. So walk our feet so I just align my butt. One leg is straight up. Heel on the ground, turn on the face. We're going to drive up and pause and go back down. We're going to go 10. Drive and lower. Nice and slow. We're going to pause on the top. Squeeze. Feel that burn. That's good. Remember, drive those hips up. 
Get those hips in line with the shoulder, in line with the knee, so we can draw one straight line. Good, Cora, that's very good. Molly, well done. Haley, well done. Good, Aaron. That's a much better rep there, buddy. Good. Think drive those hips to the ceiling. Come on, Salvador. There we go. Good, Ella. Good. Now, once again, each week we're improving. That's what I want to see. So that lets me get a little more fancy. Give us some new movements. All right, give me another 10 seconds. Finish these out. And we're going into our push ups. Remember, push ups, elbows tight, shoulders stacked, elbows scrape the body. Remember, don't be afraid to drop to the knees, lower your pride, right? Trust me, that's how I learned. That's how we do the fundamentals. Same thing as learning how to kick the ball properly. All right, everyone's back in a push up position. Give you a couple more seconds to set up. Remember, hands underneath the shoulder blades. My feet are driving into the ground. Ready? Three, two, one, and five, four, three, two, one. Drive up. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive up. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive up. Last two. Five, four, three, two, one. That's ten times better rest. Well done. Last one. Five. Four, three, two, one. Go to and relax. Back into our 90 90s. All right, we all know what's called that. Two 90 90 positions, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Rock over that knee, feel that good stretch. Okay, it comes out. We're going to rock and switch the other way. Right, for some of you that are kind of recognizing this is similar to a pigeon stretch. In my preferred idea, I like to stay away from the pigeon unless I'm watching. Or I have a certified professional watching. We found that puts a lot of torque and injury onto the knee. So we've learned to stay away from it a little bit more. Right? It's only supposed to be done in certain instances. We like to keep the 90 90 just because it's a safer motion. All right? Remember, five rocks each way. Rocking side to side. Make sure you get that good stretch over that hip. Let that chest fall over the knee. It's the only time I'll tell you to let your chest collapse. And one more rock each side, and we have one more set. So last switch. Three, two, one. Good, relax. All right, last set. And we're going into our core, right? Let's finish strong. Ready? Find our back to the heel on the ground, to the sky. Drive up and back down. Drive up and back down. That's two. Drive up. Back down. That's three. Drive up. Back down, drive up, back down, drive up, back down. That's five, give me five more and then we'll switch. Remember, get those hips up and line with the knees. Come on, Casimir, I see you working. Let's get it going. Get those hips up to the sky, there you go. Good, feel those glutes burn. All right, if you need to, Give it a little touch. We should have feel a jiggle. Should feel hard as a rock. All right, feel that tension squeeze. Good. Ten more seconds to get the other leg done. And we're gonna finish off with our push-ups, and then we're going into our core. All right. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. The core should be even more fun. Right. Good. Everyone's up in a push-up position. We're gonna get started in three, two, one. Ready? Here we go. Five, four. Three, two, one, drive up. Five, four, three, two, one, drive up. Five, four, three, two, one, drive up. Last two. Five, four, three, two, one, drive up. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, hopefully as we get up, we got a little bit stronger. We have to complete a little bit more. Get some water, right? Get a towel, get a t-shirt for your elbows. All right, we're gonna finish off with our core. We're gonna get two sets of some front planks, side planks on each side, some glute bridge work. All right, take a second, drink some water, catch your breath. Then we'll get it going to finish us off. All right. Remember, when we do 
our front legs. We're going to go elbows directly underneath my shoulder blades. My hands are going to be up to the sky, palms flat into the ground. When I say up, we want your back flat, squeezing the shoulder blades, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the core. Legs stay straight, fire the quads. We're going to hold for 30 seconds. We're going to do 15 second side planks and then finish with glute bridges. Ready? Three, two, one. And we're up in a plank. 30 second hold. All right, squeeze and hold here. Legs are straight, toes driving in the ground, elbows underneath the shoulder blades, back is flat. Should be able to put your family dinner on your back. All right, we're halfway through. Keep powering through. I'll do it with you. All right? If you're not shaking, we're doing something wrong. No one's core is this strong. Should have been working hard. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good. And relax. We're on our side for our side plank. On our side. I want your elbow underneath your shoulder. Hips are stacked on top of each other. Knees are stacked. Feet are stacked. If this is too hard, bring your knees up to your chest and you'll drive up through your knees. Otherwise, your hips are off the ground. Ready? Three, two, one. And we're up. 15 second hold here. Think nice and long, right? Big chest, pull that shoulder blade back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. All right, five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good, switch to the other side. Five seconds and we go again. Three, two, one. Go around on the other side, go. 15 second hold here, pull those toes to the face. Punch our hips forward, big chest. Good. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good. And relax. For our glute bridge, 15 seconds of work. We're going to be on the glute bridge. From there, we're going to march knees in the chest, keeping the hips up. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Hips up, and we march. Toes don't touch the ground. Knee into the chest, keep my hips up. Squeeze the glutes at the top. All right, three, two, one, go on and relax, All right? One more set here, let's power through it, we're almost done. Ready, back in our front plank. Four, three, two, one, and here we go. Elbows underneath the shoulder, palms are up. Squeeze that glute, squeeze the core, back is flat. 10 seconds in, 20 to go. Here we go, boys and girls. Last 15. Finish strong, finish strong. Right? Last five minutes of the game. We got to power through. Show us who's stronger than the other team. Good. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good. And relax. On the one side for our side planks. Five seconds to set up. Four, three, two, one. And we're up. Right elbow underneath the shoulder, feet are stacked, pull the toes to our face, hips are stacked. Squeeze and hold. Ten more seconds. Start punch the hips forward, hips are stacked. Three, two, one, good, and we're down. Five seconds to switch over. Four, three, two, one, and we're up. Legs straight, hips up. Ten second hold here. The abdomen on the side that's facing the ground should be on fire. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good, and relax. Last thing to do, we got a glute bridge march. 15 seconds of work. Ready, hips up. And we go. Glute bridge march, 15 seconds. Keep those hips up. Knees into the chest. Don't slam the foot into the ground. Think slow, lower as we go down. Good, five more seconds, finish out, finish out. Last thing we do, go on, three, two, one. Good, and time. All right, boys and girls, well done today. Hope you guys enjoyed it, hope you guys worked hard. Got a bit of a sweat, some heavy breathing, working harder than I am. Good luck in your games this weekend, right? Let's fight, let's show out, be loud and strong. Boys and girls, well done once again. We'll see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.